I'm Madison Meyer. Here's a look at what's happening today. Crews are in the sixth day for a search for a missing Marine. First Lieutenant Matthew Kraft did not return from a backcountry skiing trip through the Sierra. He left on February 23rd, was scheduled to finish his trip earlier this week near Yosemite. Authorities say that Kraft is an infantry officer who receives survival training in this field. Crews from local, state, and federal agencies are searching a 400-square-mile area from Yosemite down to the Sierra into the National Forests and Kings Canyon National Park. Beardbrook Park in Modesto is officially closing on Monday to the homeless. The city opened up a tent city under the nearby 9th Street Bridge to help out with their homeless issue. And since they moved the homeless park to those tents, most of the people living in Beardbrook Park are now living under that bridge. So starting Monday, the city will start citing people for living in the park. And FEMA says it will give California $205 million to reimburse the state for repairs to the spillways at the Orville Dam. But that leaves more than $300 million on the table because FEMA says those costs aren't eligible for reimbursement. The state water board says it will give FEMA more information to show them all that reconstruction work can be reimbursed. We'll keep you updated. Now for a check of your weather, here's Tracy Humphrey. Hey, thank you, Madison Meyer. Okay, so here's a look at what's going on outside around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, looking out toward downtown Sacramento. We have had a few breaks of sunshine, but the clouds have been dominant and persistent. They have been an uh, overriding factor in our forecast for today, as well as a few scattered and rogue showers. Currently outside is 54 in Sacramento, around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, at 50s in Stockton, 53 in Modesto, 54 in Marysville, and a temperature of 29 degrees in Tahoe. We are still trending about 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Uh, definitely looking at cooler than average conditions moving into March, but by the time we head into the um, end of next week, temperatures could be soaring near 70 degrees. I <laughs> know, right? Should do a jig for that one. Okay, Highway 50 at Meyer still got a few rogue snow showers out there as well. Snow levels will be relatively low overnight tonight. So here's a look at your weather headlines. Valley showers still in the forecast this evening and tonight, even from parts of the day tomorrow, they will be spotty. Not a huge onslaught of rainfall, but I can't rule them out completely. Low snow for the Sierra. How low will it go? Well, about two to 3,000 feet in elevation tonight, three to 4,000 feet in elevation tomorrow. Uh, the takeaway from all that is we are looking at this system kind of winding up. So we're talking about maybe two to three inches of snowfall at best. And drying trend moving in next week. And with that drying ten, uh, trend, rather, plenty of sunshine. And again, that's why temperatures could warm up to near 70 degrees. Here's a look at what's happening. We do have a few isolated thunderstorms just off the coastline there, moving into parts of San Francisco through the coastal hills. And then as you move to the valley, we're also going to keep a small threat of an isolated thunderstorm in the forecast moving in through parts of Sacramento. So we got a cold front that's going to be moving through the area. That's what's touching off the opportunity and giving us again that lingering threat of showers in the forecast for this evening, as well as for tomorrow. Severe weather threat you can see from Fort Bragg just out outside of Eureka, just on the fringe of Sacramento through San Francisco, down through Monterey. We could have a few isolated thunderstorms in the forecast today. So let's time it out for you. Future cast showing as we move into uh, later on tonight. These showers become more spotty in nature. Throughout the day Sunday, you'll have a few breaks of sunshine in there, but temperatures are still trending below average. And then finally, as we start to move into Monday, we'll see some sunshine moving in, but another round of showers comes in Tuesday. But after that, I think you're going to love the forecast. So here's a look at what you can expect tomorrow. Mix of sun and clouds with a few rogue showers afternoon highs in the mid 50s for the valley going for an afternoon high of 57 average daytime high this time of the year 64 i know have we seen the 60s not that much 52 for the hills with an opportunity for a few isolated showers and for the sierra a few spotty snow showers in the forecast as well make sure you join us for our forecast later on this evening as well as for tonight because that 10-day forecast is looking really good now you're all caught up with what's happening today